Hair is without a doubt one of the most important parts of a man's appearance. It frames your face, makes you look younger and gives you confidence. That's why when people say, just shave it off bro, it's usually just coping because they're giving up on something that can actually be saved with the right treatments. Today we're breaking down the two strongest options for fighting male pattern baldness, finasteride versus dutasteride. Which one works better? What's the difference between the two drugs? And which one should you actually consider taking? Both finasteride and dutasteride are medications that target DHT, dehydrotestosterone, the main hormone responsible for male pattern baldness. Finasteride blocks type 2 of the enzyme 5 alpha reductase, while dutasteride targets both type 1 and type 2 of the enzyme. That basically means that dutasteride is much more effective at blocking DHT in your body and is much stronger. Now let's talk about dosage and half lives because this is where the two drugs really differ. Finasteride is usually prescribed at 1 mg daily and its half life is around 5 to 6 hours, meaning it's out of your system pretty quickly. Dutasteride, on the other hand, is usually prescribed at 0.5 mg and its half life is insanely long, around 5 weeks. That means if you stop taking it, the drug still lingers in your body and continues to suppress DHT for a long time. This difference might explain why some people find dutasteride to be more stable and consistent. Now let's talk about effectiveness. This is where dutasteride takes the lead. Clinical studies have shown that at least a greater hair regrowth and maintenance compared to finasteride. It's often considered the more efficacious drug if finasteride isn't giving you the results you want. But keep in mind, more potency usually means a higher chance of side effects, and finasteride already has a reputation when it comes to sexual side effects, and dutasteride being the stronger drug may lead to even greater side effects. Both drugs work by lowering DHT, and DHT isn't just involved in hair loss, it's also responsible for libido, fertility, and even mood in some men. That's why side effects like lower libido, weaker erections, and changes in semen volume are entirely possible. The reality is that most men tolerate these drugs fine, but if you're unlucky, you might experience side effects. The big question is whether keeping your hair is worth that risk to you or not. So which one should you choose? For most guys, starting with finasteride makes the most sense. It's effective for the majority of men, it clears from your system quickly, and if it does work for you, there's no reason to jump to the stronger option. Dutasteride becomes the better choice if finasteride isn't doing enough for you to stop hair loss, or you're far enough in your hair loss journey and you need that extra suppression of DHT. Just remember that once you start, this is a lifelong commitment. Once you stop the drug, DHT is going to return and hair loss is also going to return. Hair is one of the biggest factors in how attractive and youthful you look as a man. So don't let anyone convince you that losing it doesn't matter. Finasteride and Dutasteride are the strongest proven options for protecting your hair. And choosing the right one comes down to balancing effectiveness with how much risk you're willing to take. If you're someone who actually values your appearance and confidence, then preventing hair loss before it happens is absolutely worth it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit like, subscribe and comment down below. Until next time.